Let's talk about the avalanche breakdown of a DIAC. Now a DIAC is a bidirectional avalanche diode. Some of them are configured like this with an MPN junction and some like this they have uh, five layers in them. Now we're concerned with the NP junction. Now for a uh, silicon diode, an MP junction, the silicon has uh, four electrons in the outer orbit and it likes to bond with other silicon atoms with uh, four electrons. In this end material, what they do is they'll, they'll dope it with something like arsenic that has five electrons in the outer orbit, and it leaves extra electrons over here on the end side. And the P side over here, they'll dope it with uh, something like boron with three electrons in the orbit, outer orbit, and that leaves uh, what they call holes on this side. It forms a depletion region in the center where these uh, negative charges combine with the, uh, the positive over here, and it forms positive ions closer to the n-type material and negative ions closer to the p-type material and there's no free carriers in this depletion region nothing can can flow through there it creates electric field going in this direction here and if we forward bias it we put negative over here on the end and positive on the p-side in a forward, forward bias we create electric field in the opposite direction it depletes this region here and it'll, it only takes about 0.7 volts, and then electrons can flow through the circuit here. Now, in the reverse bias, we put a positive over here, negative here. What it does is it actually enhances this, this region here. Uh, it creates electric field in the same direction that the electric field is in the uh, depletion region, and that's why the diode is uh, good for blocking voltage in one direction and letting it pass in the other direction. But if we just we put enough voltage on here, uh, in case of our, our DB3 DIAC, it's about uh, 32 volts. And uh, if we shove enough voltage on this side, we can actually break this barrier down and cause an avalanche uh, breakdown, and current will flow through the in the opposite direction. And they use that effect for these DIACs in uh, in a typical circuit like this, where you have a a light dimmer. This would be your light here. And we just run our AC through the DIAC here, and we, we vary the voltage on it, and it triggers the, uh, the triac and uh, dims our light for us. Now, we're going to do it a little differently here. We're going to use DC, and we're going to get it up to 32 volts to the avalanche breakdown. And we're going to run our voltage through a 100K resistor and then into a capacitor. And when the capacitor charges up to 32 volts, the uh, avalanche breakdown will occur and that'll light up the LED for us and when that happens voltage will drop below the avalanche uh, breakdown voltage and it'll shut off and then the uh, capacitor will charge again and then break down again so it should be flashing its LED and over here we can see that uh, this one's at 32 volts and it's the LED is flashing now Transistor looks the same, you know, it's got an NPN junction, and we're going to reverse bias this NPN junction and see if we can get it to uh, get this avalanche breakdown to work. So I put a uh, NPN trans transistor in here. Now on this one here, I've only got it up to about, uh, what's that, 11.9 volts right now, and uh, here it is here, and you can see that it's it's working fine. Uh, if I go over the... Uh, the 12 volts or so will probably burn up the unit but it's working as a, a flashing unit right now so that's our uh, that's how these uh, the diacs work they actually use this uh, avalanche breakdown to work one other side note here uh, if I uh, this this power supply here is just regular uh, uh, benchtop power supply and it only puts out 30 volts not enough to to make this one uh, work so this one here is off of a, uh, a uh, variac transformer and going through a uh, bridge rectifier now on a uh, on a variac transformer it's not grounded this 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 is the negative side here it's got potential to ground because these two legs aren't grounded here and uh, what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to put a uh, test the voltage here. So let's get this over here. Now I'm putting this on here, and I'm actually going to tie this 
touches to the uh, case of my my scope Let's see what we got there we go I got 103 volts on here almost 104 volts okay now uh, obviously if I actually put my scope on there I wouldn't have a scope anymore so uh, you have to be very careful when you're using two different power supplies especially when you're using a, a variac even though this is DC here I'm getting some AC off of their 104 volts to, to ground okay so I mean it's working fine here we've got 32 volts across here and uh, but uh, be very careful when you're working around uh, your your scope or your equipment like that if I had tied my scope on there uh, yeah, it wouldn't have been very pretty so anyway uh, that's the uh, a diac and the avalanche breakdown thank you